They are the grieving wives, mothers, and sisters of Ukrainian soldiers killed defending their homeland. On Sunday, they mourn together in Lviv, a city now on the periphery of a war raging in the country's east. This woman says her son went to battle with 37 other men. No one came back. Ukrainians are confronting the possibility that more of their loved ones may not come home after the government ruled out agreeing to any ceasefire deal that involves ceding territory to Moscow. Kyiv's main negotiator cautions making such concessions would result in Russia launching an even larger, bloodier offensive in the longer term. Poland's president in the first in-person address to the Ukrainian parliament since the start of the invasion stressed the country should not give up an inch of land. Only Ukraine has the right to determine its own future, he said. Russian forces aiming to capture the entire eastern region of Donbass continue their attacks with airstrikes and artillery. It's thought they're planning a new siege in the easternmost city still in Ukrainian hands. The UK's daily military intelligence update says Russia has likely deployed its Terminator tanks to the fighting. But the report adds, with a maximum of 10 Terminators deployed, they are unlikely to have a significant impact on the campaign. Russia's failures elsewhere in Ukraine has made victories here in the Donbass critical. This university building is just another casualty. It's one of more than 1,000 educational institutions the Ukrainian president claims have been destroyed by the invaders. Despite the brutality, Volodymyr Zelensky said in an interview, there is only one way out of this war. Victory will be difficult. It will be bloody, he says, but the end will be in diplomacy. On Sunday, a delegation of U.S. diplomats traveled to the Netherlands for talks with allies regarding their responses to the atrocities committed in Ukraine, as well as other places like Ethiopia, experiencing violence. Now, the targeting of schools and other civilian infrastructure is a war crime. Karen Siolin, City News.